In this video, I'm going to show you how I went from this yellow headlight to this clear one. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbaz. Um, today's video is going to be a quick little video. I'm going to be restoring these headlights. You can see that they're a little bit yellowed. So I'm going to go ahead, wet sand everything down, and we are going to spray some clear on it. I did want to start on the wire harness, but I have not received the batteries for the GoPro, so that's kind of holding me back. Um, as you can see, I have a big mess of wires all over the place. So I'm getting that ready to go, but unfortunately, I have not received the GoPro battery. Right now, I'm running still on the extension cord plugged into the GoPro, which kind of sucks. I'm limited to where I could go. I would record with my phone, but this phone that I have is from the Flintstones era, so it doesn't really support the 1080p. But either way, I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up right here, and I'm gonna lay the headlight right here, and we are gonna start sending it. Here are some of the items that you will need to get this job done. You're gonna need soapy water, you're gonna need sandpaper, I have sandpaper starting at 600, 800, going all the way up to 2500. I probably won't go up that far, but that's what I have. Um, also, a rattle can of clear. This is from the automotive department at Walmart. Uh, it's made by Rust Oleum. It's just acrylic lacquer gloss crystal clear seals and protects fast drying time for indoor and outdoor so this is what we're going to be using after we do all the sanding on it so let's go ahead throw you guys on a time lapse and i'm going to go ahead and start with 600 grit and hit everything really good This is what your headlight should start to look like. Really milky. This is still the 600 grit. It looks like now that milkiness is starting to clear out. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash it all down and start with my next grit, which will be the 800. And I will continue this process all the way until I hit the 2000. And then I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna show you guys. Wet sanding is completely done. You can see what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off with clean water. And then we're gonna go ahead, let it dry up, and we are gonna 
lay our clear coat. I'm gonna go ahead and send these two screwdrivers right through here on both sides through the back of this board. I did put a screw right here to hold this whole board into place. And I did this because this is the only spot in the garage where I could probably lay some paint where it's not that filthy. Let's go ahead and lay some coats of this. Maybe one mist coat to begin with. Before we lay some paint on here though, I'm gonna go ahead and spray down here and make sure that my tip isn't clogged up. All right. Quick little mist around all the edges. And then right on the headlight itself. We don't want any runs on this. Clear coat does dry pretty fast. So in five minutes, I'll come back and we'll hit it with the second coat. Second coat is going on right now. And I'm pretty much missing it. Because I know that the clear out of these cans run really easy. So as I'm doing this, it's getting clearer and clearer. So we're gonna wait five more minutes and we'll come back and lay another one. So the headlight is on. And I only made this video because I have not received the batteries to the GoPro and I really wanna start working on that wire harness. Another thing is that I do not wanna change the way the car looks right now because of the fact that we're trying to build a sleeper. That's the reason why I put the hubcaps on. Which you guys see right here. I put these on on a last video. These are 15s. These are 14s. So they're a little bit smaller, but I use zip ties to get them all on there. Trying to keep this as sleeper as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and try to tint the back window. If I don't get the back window tinted, I'm gonna have to remove that bar because I don't need anybody seeing that bar in there. So it's looking pretty nice. We're getting closer and closer each time. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here on my next video. Hopefully we have this wire harness hooked up and we have turned the, the engine over and it has started. That's gonna be the next one. So I'll catch you guys on my next video to see what, what we have accomplished, how far we've gotten. Till then, peace out, stay safe, hit the button that looks just like this, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Subscribe by the way.